Hi, I'm Ish Levine, and you might know me from my lifestyle blog, where I talk about news, products, fashion, and skincare. I've been doing this for almost 12 years now. I'm a Johannesburg-based mum of two, and I love finding out new things, particularly when it comes to skincare. I'm Ashley Levine, Ms. Levine's sister-in-law, um, and this is my home, so welcome. I've got three small children, and I've written a cookbook. I enjoy entertaining and definitely enjoy learning a bit more about skincare. So we are here today in Ashley's beautiful garden and home and we're going to be chatting to Dr. Olivier Courton, who is the managing director of the Clarence Group, but he's also the son of the founder of Clarence. He was a, an orthopedic surgeon in his previous life and he has written quite a few cookbooks. I'm very excited to have him here. He also sources and is the science behind most of the Clarence products, which is going to be very interesting. Yeah, we look forward to chatting with him today. So, Olivier, tell us about how you got involved in the family business. Yes, it's uh, very important for me. And it's, uh, it's a long story because I have beginning not in exactly in the family business. I, uh, I was an uh, orthopedic surgeon. For five years, I, was, I worked in a hospital and uh, in research for Clarence. Uh, it's so amazing to hear your story about the origin of this brand and the roots of the brand, and it's a proper family business. Yeah. And I know that Clarence is a brand that really emphasizes plant-based skincare yeah. and uses so much that's plant-based in the formulations. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? And my father created six products and uh, oil products and uh, we are 100% plant extract. Uh, and we have a big success in, uh, in the spa. The plant in the time is not the fashion, it's not fashionable. Uh, it's a, it's a, but my father believed the power of the plants. Yeah. I'm so excited to hear about the farming and apparently all these plants are grown in the Alps. That must be a very difficult thing to do. Yes, it's a, it's a domain clan. The name is the domain clan in the Alps, but uh, near to the Annecy. Uh, and uh, why? Because in the Alps it's uh, pure, clean and, uh, and also how it's possible to have a beautiful plant without pesticide. And now we, are, we have uh, many, many, many farmers uh, in the Alp and other Alp, they follow uh, our guide for the farmer, yes. Yeah. And we have also, it's a laboratory for us. Uh, okay, it's all so a small laboratory, but laboratory, it's uh, important for the... And let's chat a bit about um, sustainability and carrots. In class, it's very, very important because we, we use the plant and we, we want to uh, continue to use this plant. It's very important for, uh, for uh, family, but also for the uh, Clarence group uh, to have an um, uh, environmental uh, uh, conception for all the, the product. Welcome to my kitchen. It's so nice to have you here. We're going to make one of your lovely smoothies. Today. Yeah. So this is your extra firming smoothie, am I right? Yes, exactly. Tell us about the ingredients that go into this. Yes, we have uh, this ingredient, it's uh, uh, goji. Uh, we have the very good for the skin and the radiant skin. Uh, we have also a uh, lot of vit vitamin inside. And we have a uh, kiwi, that is the uh, best ingredient. Uh, we have an uh, ingredient with uh, vitamin C. Mm. That delicious. is uh, delicious. Uh, and, uh, and the abricot. Abricot is a special because it's a fruit. They have a, uh, create a link between the different fiber in the skin. That is firming, it's very important. And you have paprika, that is anti-inflammatory. It's very good for your skin. Explain why we have here. And also we have in uh, a extra firming cream. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Mmm, mmm, that's so good. Yum. Tastes like goodness. It does. Yes, like that we have a healthy, we have a radiant. Um, mm. Yes. I'm almost a little bit scared to ask you this question because I'm sure you're going to mention some of my vices, but can you tell us 
what are some of the best things that you can eat for your skin and what are some of the worst things you can eat for your skin? Almond. Okay. For the best ingredients for me and uh, the worst is, uh, is a cake. For example, a cake is really bad. Too much sugar. <laughs> Yes, no, it's not only sugar, we have also uh, oil, bad oil to, con to a preservative. Huh? It's, uh, you use very bad oil in the Hidrotsi oil, it's very bad for the health. Okay. So, but uh, I eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you like to cook at home when you are cooking? Now it's more vegetable and with fish. I'm glad you said that because I've made you some fish for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to my lunch table. So I've made you some delicious salmon um, and we've got some boiled potatoes here with a bit of dill and some nice fresh herbs and some chives. And I've done some green beans, a few sauces. I don't know if you like horseradish, but I do with my salmon. And over there I've made a milk tart, which is a very traditional South African um, dessert that my granny used to make for me. So I hope you enjoy it. Ashley, um, did you write a, a book? I a have. Book? I've written a cookbook before and I am in the process of writing a second one. But I'm sure, as you know, because you've done it yourself, it's quite yeah. a process and um, very rewarding in the end. Yes, it's a very, it's a very interesting to write a book. It's difficult, but uh, it's, uh, I, when it's finished, you are very happy. And uh, you, uh, Misha, mm -hmm. hmm? did, you, uh, did you have a, a blog? I do. I started it about 12 years ago and I've just always loved sharing, I've loved taking photographs and it felt like the perfect place to marry the two and what a joy to be able to earn a living from my passion. And I want to talk to you about family. Tell us a little bit about yours and how you incorporate food into your family life. Yes, it's uh, important for my family to have a, a good uh, nutrition and to have a good health, not only for the skin, but for the health. Now we have uh, very important to, uh, to choose the season, uh, you, know, yes. you know that, you season, season uh, vegetable, fruit, that is most important. Well, speaking of food, should we eat? Yes, Absolutely. yes. Let's do it.